If I don't have any clean brushes, it's okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a favorites and fails for y'all. So it's been several months <laughs> since the last time I made a favorites video. I think my last one was back in like April, maybe the beginning of May. So I have stuff. Because I've been wearing a mask every day to like the hospital and stuff, I have not been wearing a ton of, actually I haven't really been wearing any foundation unless I'm filming. So my favorites aren't really gonna include like primers, foundations, uh, powders, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, lipsticks, lip glosses, any of that because I haven't been using them. So it's mostly just gonna be like what I see from here <laughs> in this area and also uh, maybe a couple of skincare items as well. And then I'll also share my two fails at the end. So I have five like items to talk about as my favorites and then two fails. Let's get into it. I'm gonna first start off with two skincare items. The first one is this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream in the fragrance free version. I was actually like very surprised the first time I used this. It's a cream, but it spreads so easily. But what surprised me about using this for the first time was that it completely absorbs and not in a way where it feels like there was no moisture left on my skin. It absorbed and my skin felt dry. So one thing that like I personally don't like about a lot of lotions and I know a lot of guys don't like about lotions like my boyfriend is that it feels like you're wearing lotion. So like when you lay down on your pillow or you're just going about your day, it like gets on your stuff. But this one, I don't know how they formulated this. This formulation is so elegant and unique and I just really like it. I don't have dry skin. I have combination oily, more oily skin. And I love this as a nighttime moisturizer. I haven't really used it in the mornings because I typically have more lightweight moisturizers that are dedicated to be daytime moisturizers. <sighs> but this one, I am definitely gonna repurchase when there is some kind of sale for e.l.f. Like buy one, get one 40% off, which is actually happening at Ulta right now. This has reached holy grail status for me and I don't have a lot of items in that status because generally I will just use whatever I have, but this is one that I will like go out and seek and repurchase. I know this sounds like super high praise and a lot of times when YouTubers rave about something so much, I'm like, but I don't know, I really think this deserves it, so. The second favorite I have is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen, and this is SPF 50 PA++++. And I have like been testing out a few different Korean sunscreens recently. Honestly, a lot of them feel about the same. They have like a lightweight lotiony texture, but this one is just so comfortable. I know that it's not really gonna be irritating for my skin because it has a lot of calming ingredients. This is a chemical sunscreen, but the chemical filters that are inside don't include like the more infamously irritating ones. I will have a little bit more detail about that in the description box because I really can't remember off the top of my head what all of the chemical filters are. But anyway, Centella, very calming ingredient. It's also free of any essential oils or fragrances. But yeah, this is just really enjoyable for me to wear, uh, especially underneath my mask. And it doesn't feel heavy. It feels moisturizing. It's definitely a moisturizing sunscreen. It's not mattifying, but it doesn't feel like my skin is choking. Next for my makeup items, and this one is extra exciting for me if you have been watching me for any length of time. Anytime I talk about like my wish list or eyeshadows, I will bring up that I have had the Kaja Beauty Bento Trio in Orange Blossom on my wish list like since it came out. And would you look at that? I actually bought it after a year and a half of it wanting it. And I actually got this with a gift card. <laughs> so this is a favorite. I have been obsessed with this ever since I got it. And I'm actually wearing this top lightest shade just tapped over um, my eyeshadow as like a topper to add a little something special. And the eyeshadow I'm wearing right now is the ColourPop Dream Street eyeshadow palette. But this just adds a little bit of something special, like I said. And I'll just give you some swatches of them right now. So here are those three shadows. And uh, I think they're something really special. They are described to be like super creamy and they are fairly on the creamy end of powder eyeshadows, but they are unmistakably powder eyeshadows. Like 
I, I don't know what I was expecting when I got it. I guess I expected it to feel almost like a super shock shadow, but it is just a creamy powder eyeshadow, just to clarify if any of y'all were kind of thinking that too. But yeah, I'm super happy with this and I have just been really enjoying it. The fourth out of five faves and my second makeup item is from Glossier. It is the Glossier Stretch Concealer and I have mine in the shade G9, which is their medium shade, which I've said before is still pretty light. Um, this is close to my actual skin tone shade and not really a brightening shade for me, but sometimes I like just using my own skin tone shade under my eyes and um, of course on my face because I don't, sometimes I don't want to look really highlighted. I just want to look like myself. The reason why I have even been wearing this at all because I told you that I haven't really been wearing foundations under my mask or anything is because I'll take just a little bit on my finger and dab it right here and just blend it in along the hollows of my eyes and that part you actually see because the mask comes up to like you know the nose bridge and stuff but you still see it my under eyes and it's been making me look a lot more awake on mornings where I'll look in the mirror and be like ooh, you're not looking so good my fifth favorite for y'all is just like a general item and these are the only hair ties I've been using for probably this entire year and those are Invisibubbles. So I have quite a collection of Invisibubbles that I have accumulated and I know they're pretty pricey be um, because they're $8 for three I believe is like the normal price of them but a lot of times you can find them on sale. I know in Ulta's recent event they had one day where they were half off so I picked up a couple in that event and I love these because um, they don't make my hair feel heavy. A lot of times when I have just a, a normal hair tie um, and it's really tight, I feel it being tight, but this I can just tie back my hair and have it be fairly relaxed while I'm studying. And it's just comfortable to keep in for hours and hours. And um, yeah, one especially standout one of these, I guess, are the Slims. These are the ones that I actually just recently picked up. And I picked these up. This is in the unicorn shade and this is just black. And I love these for when I wear pigtails because a lot of times just the normal size ones, these curls are like so big and they like stretch too much to where it looks weird on the ponytail, on the pigtail, and then it kind of like slouches a little bit just because of the shape of how these are. But with the slim design and a tighter coil, it has a little bit of a stronger hold and the coils don't look so awkward either when I have them up. I actually did use the unicorn color of these to do my pigtails in my recent Urban Decay Naked Violet duping video. So I'll link that here. I'll also maybe put a picture of it here. And those are the five favorites that I said I would mention. I actually have a spontaneous sixth favorite that I decided to include just now. And that is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. So this is my second full-size cloud paint. Um, my previous one is in the shade Dusk and I have loved that one to death. I'm almost done using it. And this is just another shade that I wanted to pick up. This is a peachy shade variation. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today is my blush. And I'm wearing just this. I'm not wearing any bronzer or any highlighter um, on my cheeks. This is the only like color that I have. And I think that it just gives a really fresh look. I apply it with my fingers. I know that if I use a sponge or a stippling brush, I can get a more even application, but most of the time if I use a cloud paint, I just want something fast and I'll use my fingers. It looks fine. I also have been liking this recently because if I don't have any clean brushes, it's okay. <laughs> it's just easy to use. It's pretty idiot proof. Now for my first fail, which is something that should be idiot proof, but is not. <laughs> I have the Kiss Magnetic Lashes. And so I purchased these off the Kiss website. This one is a kit that has the black eye magnetic eyeliner included. And then I also picked up a little bit of a bolder style. And application of this is actually very easy. But the problem with this, the issue that makes it a fail is how it wears over a few hours. So this black eyeliner is magnetic and then you're supposed to be able to just put the eyelashes on top and like it's super fast application and that part is true. However, just naturally through the day, like when you blink and move your eyes or whatever, the lashes, you know, like move a little bit with your eyes, but as I move and do that hours and hours, um, the, <laughs> the magnetic liner kind of sticks to the magnets on the lashes and as they move, they kind of move the liner. So later on when I look in the mirror, I notice that 
I have like patches of eyeliner missing, which is not a cute look. It looks really um, disheveled, I suppose. So even though this is pretty to use for like a moment, maybe for a picture, maybe for filming or something, this is not something that I would depend on using for like a full work day or anything. So a little bit disappointing. The second fail and the last product I have to talk to y'all about today is actually a Glossier product. I know I put two Glossier products in my favorites, but I also have one fail, and that is the Sky Wash Liquid Eyeshadows. I have one shade of this. I got Terra, which is the orange terracotta shade, and the concept for this is like a sheer liquid eyeshadow that you just kind of blend out with your finger, or you can use a blush, a brush, and it just looks very like undone but done um the problem is that this is like a super oily formula it's really hard to control so i put this on my finger and like pretend this is like my eye and my eyes here and here's the beginning of my eyelid and then i'm supposed to be able to like blend it out with my finger to make it look not crazy but as i do that like the color gets a little bit streaky as you can see it's not very even so you try to pat it out maybe even out the color but then eventually you need to swipe to like get the edges I don't know it's just like not the most intuitive to me and this is coming from someone who uses stick eyeshadows and liquid eyeshadows frequently enough to be familiar with them. One of that kind of formula eyeshadows that I really like are the Pixie um, their eyeshadow sticks. I know that this is that's a stick and this is a liquid so it's not exactly like comparing the same thing but if you this this concept of just swiping and then blending with your finger and then going about your day um, is the same. Sometimes I need to mess around with this and so it's not the pick that I choose when I want something that is just really easy and then I'm out the door. Well that's all I have for y'all today. I didn't have a ton of products to talk about but these favorites are like truly what I have been using and enjoying a lot recently and then just a couple fails that I thought I should inform you all about if you were considering getting them or wanted to know what real user experience was like for them. I hope that was helpful for y'all. I don't make these frequently but I make them as frequently as I have collected a few things in my mind that comprise a new video from my last one. I would love to know from y'all. Tell me one of your favorites that you've been using a ton recently because I think it's fun to share what we've been loving. Thank you so much for watching and for spending your time with me today. If you like this video, if you like me doing favorites videos, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Or you can comment to let me know that you like these so I know what y'all like to watch. Anyways, remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.